This video is brought to you by WP Forms. Are you ready to create a car payment calculator for your WordPress website? In this video, I'll walk you through how you can do that and we'll go step by step so you can get the car payment calculator up and running on your site without writing any code. So let's dive in. To get this done on our site, we'll be using a plugin called Formidable Forms. This is a great advanced form plugin to do things like payment calculators or quizzes for your site. So make sure that you get the Formidable Forms Pro Business or higher in order to get this working for your site. So create an account with Formidable Forms, download the plugin, and then let's head back over to our WordPress dashboard. We'll need to install the plugin. So let's go to plugins add new. And instead of searching for a plugin, we're actually going to upload it. And you'll want to choose file and then find where we saved it. From here, you just want to click install now and then let it install the plugin for you. You also want to make sure that you stick around to activate it as well. Great. Once it's installed, you'll also want to click here to activate your license key. And you can either connect to an account or you can enter the license key manually. I've copied that from the account. So I'll paste that in here and save license. Now that everything's saved, we are ready to get started. They make it super easy to create your first form. So we'll go over to forms area and we'll click on the tab. And up here, we'll click add new so we can create a form. Now they already bring in several pre-made templates to choose from. And we're actually looking for the car payment calculator. This is the one we want. And from here, you can preview it to see what it will look like. And if that's the one you want, then you'll also want to go ahead and click create form. Now from here, this is the form name that you want to give it. This is also what ends up being the title of the page that will come up at the top of your browser. So make sure that it's something descriptive that is good for search engine optimizations. The same with the form description. And then let's click create. And what that will do is go ahead and bring in the template that's already been created. And you see all of the form fields are here and you can adjust those as you want. And I'll show you a couple of areas with the fields. Like you see with the tax, the sales tax, you can enter whatever you want. But when you click on the advanced, you can see a default value. So you can add a default value here if you want to change that. The other thing you want to do is be very careful about some of these fields if you're going to change them. For instance, when I click on this one and I go to advanced, you see we have fault that default values here as well. And what these default values are is they're actually doing the calculation and they're bringing in the field ID and they're doing the calculation and then bringing in another field ID. You can find these field IDs by hovering when you click on one of these fields or hover over them. You see the IDs here. So any changes that you make, you just want to make sure that the calculations are correct for what you're doing. And then once you're finished with any of the changes that you make, you want to head over to the settings tab up here that's next to build and just double check and make sure everything looks okay. This is the form title that we gave it. This is the slug value the form description that we talked about. And if you're still using classic editor, then this is the short code that you'll probably use for that. But don't worry, I'll show you for Gutenberg how easy it is to bring in. Once you make sure that all that looks okay, you'll also want to go to actions and notifications. This is what you want the form to do once they hit submit. And by default, there are some really nifty form actions that you can do. We won't be covering that in this, but just know that there are some really nifty automation actions that you can do with this form builder. But what we want to do is an email notification. So let's make sure that this is going to the right people that we want and what the name will be. So you see that this is the trigger that the action is when an entry is created or when they click submit. And the to email is the admin email of the website by default. If you wanted to, you could hard code this in. I'm going to leave it as the email there. And this is the from address. From here, you can add a subject line and a message if you want. Great. Now that everything looks okay, let's go ahead and click update to make sure that we've updated any changes. And we see this here. And now we need to go and add this to our site. So I'm going to exit out of there. And for this one, I'm going to create a page because it's, it's kind of a static page and I'll probably add it to my menu area. 
give it a title. And on the new line, you see the little block, add block plus button. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we're looking for formidable form. We want this one. So I'm gonna click on that and it'll bring this in. And I actually need to select the form that I want to bring in. I'll do the car payment calculator. And now we see this coming in nicely. Now what we need to do is click publish and then the form will be live for us to review on our site. So I'm gonna click view page and you can see this in action. You see when I'm making changes, it automatically updates over here. And that's a real quick and easy way to create a car calculator for your WordPress website. And now if advanced calculations or advanced fields aren't something that you need, then go ahead and try WP Forms. WP Forms gives you the power to create high converting forms in minutes, not hours. You can also easily integrate your forms with email marketing services or collect payments for bookings and orders. To get started, just head over to WPForms.com forward slash WP Beginner and use promo code WPBVIP to get 50% off WP Forms.